Don't you think that when we meet up, it's actually getting harder now to have a good time? Do you really want to go hiking? A little hiking for fun? Yeah. In fucking Sweden? Yeah, I do. <laughs> Where the fuck is it? Huh? There's more! <laughs> Stop fucking crying! No fucking move! Give me your wallet. <laughs> So what I love about the film, it's not your typical horror film or thriller. Um, there's really so many different layers to it, different psychological layers that a lot of people were drawn to. Uh, what drew you to the source material initially? Uh, first read of the script, not knowing it was a horror film, mm. and then realizing it was. Right. But up until that point, it was uh, it read like a you know like a black comedy about. Four guys go to the woods and they, uh, you know, they struggle to have talked to each other for the last twenty years, and it's uh, that's the best thing. Produces about it, it? this. Uh, it feels like it's effect. It feels like the first chunk of the film is a separate film in in, in its own way, and then this happens, yeah. and that's what's great because it's sort of rooted in a reality, mm. which I, th which so is the reason why I don't like horror. other horror films, mm -hmm. is because they're never rooted in a kind of. Reality, obviously, they're supernatural, and they, you know, you get there eventually. But some of them sort of miss taking the time over a group of people yeah. and exploring them. As you say, it's a film which is um, full of originally drawn characters, and a film that could exist without the horror element because these people are identifiable and um, individual, well drawn, and uh, that was a really good thing to be. I don't just want to be a part of. Um, Films which are just designed just to scare people. You want to make people think at the same time and look at themselves and um, uh, identify and wonder how they would react in a situation like this. Because I think we all do. When we see things on the news, terrible things that happen, we all think, we all wonder how we would respond, um, whether we would be heroes or whether we would fold. And um, these group of guys find out. So David was drawn to my script. Yep, I read the script. <laughs> it's it's very drawn script. to it, yes. Couldn't get away yeah. like a moth uh, to a flame. <laughs> no, uh, I, read, I read a script and then, I, and then I devoured the book right afterwards. And, uh, you know, one of the things that uh, came through in both of them was really just the relationships with these guys. And, um, you know, the idea that they had, you know, there's something special about friends that you make in your early 20s. And it's, it felt really fresh about the idea of a, a movie that explored you know, men approaching 40 out on this hiking holiday and the ways that they had grown apart and the difficulties that they kind of face. Uh, it just it just felt like uncharted territory for me. Yeah. yeah. You? Yeah, yeah, just it's, uh, the book. It's based on very mm -hmm. scary and interesting themes and stuff. Mm -hmm. It seemed like it'd be a fun project to do. Rob would have loved this place. It wasn't your fault, mate. You know what they have on walking trails in England? Pubs. We go southwest through here. We cut the journey in half. Or through the forest. Oh. What could do that? Bear? Do bears do that? I don't know, Dominic. I'm not a fucking bear expert. Still bleeding. But we should go. I should have gone to Vegas. I woke up last night and look at this. Nothing has done that to you. You've done it to yourself. Listen, mate, we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you. No, we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you. Fucking coward. There's something up there in those woods. Something fucking big. And what did you learn from each other that you took on to your next projects? Oh, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> That's just, you know, what a great bunch of guys. Yeah. No, but I think we were lucky because we didn't have a group. Any, there was no one in the group who had an ego. Mm. And that's terrible. When, you, when you're supposed to be doing something where you, you have to have a kind of energy and an ease yeah. with each other. Mm. If someone starts acting out, then it's kind of difficult. But we didn't have that. So that's yeah. how I think we got into that pattern and yeah. rhythm. Easy. Because we, no, were was, all, we all had sort of a humour for the whole thing anyway. What you learn from, <laughs> from me, Rob? I, I, I'm not just saying this, but because um, Luke's the lead character. It's about, about, very much about around how... I mean, they're all very well-drawn characters. Right. Who, by no means are we add-ons in the ensemble, but it's about how he deals with the aftermath of his lack of action when his friend got murdered in, in, in front of him. And so Rafe was literally in every day. 
morning, yeah. night. But his attitude never wavered, never saw him get moody once. I'm not just saying that because he's here. But his professionalism, he just threw himself into it. And the fact that he could just have a lap in between takes as well, didn't take himself too seriously. It's like, yeah, yeah, I probably need to uh, start being a bit more professional on my next jobs. <laughs> That's pretty kind of you to say. But it's true, though. Um, uh, look, the, it's, a, it's an amazing company of actors and uh, all of them are extremely talented and that makes my job so much easier. You're only as good as a person in front of you as an actor. You, 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 cannot, you can never elevate a scene past the person that you're acting in front of and the thing that's interesting to watch on screen is a relationship that is created between two people. It isn't the individual that is interesting, it's the dynamic that's created between them and I think that's one of the things that you get from watching this film. It feels like a real group of guys, a real group of friends. Um, and you only get that with highly skilled, professional, brilliant actors, which I was totally um, uh, lucky and honoured to be a, a group of that company. Joe has a, uh, he, his writing comes up very, very comical. Like, it's very funny, and because mm-hmm. and, uh, he just can't help but sort of find these you know, great bits. Yeah. And uh, so it was, it was different for me because I've written a lot of the other stuff that I've done to mm-hmm. sort of, you know, service that in a way and, um, you know, not get caught telling jokes necessarily I think if I had you know taken it in the wrong direction I wouldn't have done it any justice or something but it was, mm-hmm. it was it was you know there was something that had to be I had to live up to it in that regard and, and it was great to have you know these guys because mm-hmm. they're all hilarious and they know how to manage it oh my god what is that it's a warning well this is clearly the house we'll get murdered in we need to get out of here they're hunting us. What the hell do they want? We're gonna have to run. Oh my god! One, two, three. Thank you.